Hello everybody, how's it going, and welcome back to Trump Make the World Great Again, as we will. <laughs> Unfortunately, Trump's campaign is, like, slowly going down the tubes. However, we have taken all of North America, so I, I don't think that that is the current case here. I think we're doing quite a good job, with the exception of Trinidad and T Tobago, in which case we are, uh... Yeah, <laughs> let's not talk about that for the time being. Let's just pretend everything's peachy and nice. It is for the most part. So, um, I may take these guys and just take over Puerto Rico. Uh, I don't really know what Puerto Rico has, but uh, I don't think it's very much. But uh, before I get started, too, uh, there's a guy named Calm Down Level Up. He's just started to play Supreme Ruler. He does strategy, other strategy games and stuff like that. Mountain Blade seems to be uh, more his kind of digs, but, uh, God love the poor bastard. He's trying out the Trump DLC, and he's playing as Trump, doing something close to what I'm doing, um, in close to the same way, at least on the first few episodes. And he also, uh, the poor bastard, is attempting to play and rule the world as ISIS. And if you have played this mod yet, or watched any real videos or anything like that on the mod, you know how excruciatingly frustratingly difficult that is so I feel for this guy poor bastard so if you guys want to go give him some love some support I have put a link to his uh, episode 1 Isis he has three out currently as of making this video you can go give it a watch support the poor guy and uh, let him know that uh, Infinitum feels for him and uh, and we all feel for him as he attempts to do what he's doing um, you could probably use a little bit of moral upbringing, so, you know, just sharing the love. So, yeah, link in the description there. Go check him out for sure. He does have some pretty sweet content, uh, honestly. It was very entertaining watching him play Supreme Ruler. It was very entertaining watching him play uh, stuff like Mountain Blade and all that kind of stuff. So, his channel's pretty cool. He's got some cool videos, so, yeah, go check him out. If you like me, you'll probably like him. If you don't like me, you'll probably still like him, to be honest. But, yeah, so we are... Currently going to war with Colombia, our first officially South American uh, enemy in this uh, in this tirade of ours. But uh, some will argue technically not, but it is our uh, first officially South American uh, country. So, and a lot of people have said uh, to keep them from going into reserve uh, to turn their military stuff off. So I've switched around some of the settings and stuff and it seems to be working a little bit better. They're still going to reserve and stuff like that for no supply, but that's pretty, that's fairly average, but I, uh, I hit the, you know, come out of your shit button and, uh, they seem to be staying out for the most part, so that's good. I'm happy to see that. I've also put our military priorities and stuff on aggressive stances, so that's always nice. You know, we're now, uh, we now are going at it 110% and, uh, yeah, we're gonna win so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, we're still bombing the ever-loving bejesus out of uh, Port of Spain. That poor, poor city has been is absolutely decimated, but oh well, they'll be okay, I'm sure. <laughs> they'll be able to recover once they become an American con colony and uh, we give them a little bit of money. You see, we're just funding rebel groups at this point, so, you know, whatever. Let's take that town to get some supply on this side of the, of the ropes. Oh, look at that. Trying to take back some towns. It's not going to go over well. Somebody hitting my fucking door. Alright. So let's invade. Well, we don't really need to invade south, but I'm just going to kill those units there because this is going to get annoying quick. Because I want to get across the river on the north side, but also on the south side probably is better. It's going to be better for supply, I think. <laughs> I don't think it matters. They're pretty much surrendered at this point anyway. Uh, why don't we just get in there? There's not a lot around that capital. They don't have a huge defense. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't think it'd be that difficult. Uh, I might go after Venezuela next, just so I can get <laughs> a little you know, build a bridge over to Port of Spain and take those bastards out, but I don't know. 
Not sure how good of an idea that actually is at the moment. Uh, do I have some units around? Yes, I'll take out that. We'll annex that, thank you. Take out the capital they're trying to form there. And the Mexicans have also tried to make something of themselves. Well, let's quash that. <laughs> so I should put, I guess, some more into police spending than so state, state's trades, social spending, where's police, law enforcement. Let's up that. But we will take down my healthcare spending and education a little bit. Where's my tax? We will max taxes out. I don't care. I have Donald fucking Trump. I'll do what I want. Alright, let's go after Venezuela next. Well, they may have put up a little bit of a fight. I say that simply because they are kind of putting up a little bit of a fight. <laughs> That's okay. They'll never last against us. They have. They might have a, quite a few units, but we not only have more, but they're more powerful. Because America. The only interesting country to take over is going to be really Brazil. That's going to be a bit of a pain. Just wait for that supply to kind of get up in there. Have a little bit better supply range. Send those guys there and those guys there. What's going on anyway in the good old worlds besides Egypt having way too many units in Sudan? What the fuck? What if they get attacked somewhere else? Heck, they are getting attacked somewhere else. Lebanon is trying to fight them. And they're kicking their ass, but... I love how the Egyptian Suez Canal Zone got land. Like, somehow it just managed to grab some land out of former Israel. Yeah, the uh, Egyptians are going to win that fight. Hands fucking down. And the Indians have pushed back the Russians fairly heavily. Oh, sorry, the Pakistanis. Not the Indians. The Pakistanis beat the Indians up, took their money. I still find it funny how the North and South Koreans haven't gone to war with each other yet. South Korea is at war with multiple countries. But, oh, well, whatever, bruh. And then, yeah, so they took over Lebanon. The Germans still own a good chunk. Well, they own all of Europe. They're just not at war with anybody currently over who is going to keep Europe. And we're still at war with these fucks. Yeah, so it didn't really work out that well, because they're still trying to go into reserve, but whatever. Just take everything. There we go. Be all America about it. Uh, 
Let's get all those units south there. Oh yeah. So I took this bit of spit of land in Africa. Now I kinda wanna build a I'm still really lacking a metal war wow. And oil. Pretty sure I tried to build some stuff to keep that at bay, but I don't think it worked out as well as I thought. Oil is a bitch to keep. Bulgaria just got eliminated. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's do up ore mines, though. Because we are going to need that. Yeah, it's not as demanding as oil. Like, oil is only going to continue to move up in demand as we take land. Or mine is not going to move up as much. Eh, should be good. So, who took Bulgaria? The Germans! We're now just going on a rampage. They're going to be the fucking guys to fucking beat at this point. Like, holy shit. On um, one hell of a tirade. Oh, they just took Kosovo. Or taking Kosovo. Oh, that's unfortunate. Serbians are going to like that. Play war with Ecuador. Yeah, there goes Kosovo. How the hell are they up there? German. Let's go take some of that land. Well, we're having some trouble there. Thank thankfully Keto is not very far. It's a pretty fast take right there. Actually. Annex. I'm all just gonna get on a boat. So we have Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela. So that's interesting. Ceasefire signed. Guyana and Germany have reached a ceasefire agreement. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, they're taking what's left of the bulk of the Balkans. There's only a few Balkan countries still left. And Germany wouldn't have to do my Oh, England. England has had enough. England is pissed. But what's England going to do? They, they can't get over... Like, in Ultimate, I don't think you can actually cross over the train bridge. You'd have to actually land with land units. Well, that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Myanmar was eliminated... by Thailand. See, it's a fast paced man. It's fast paced gameplay. However, there comes a new challenge. Oh, uh, really? Seriously? You're not even going to deploy? <laughs> gonna pussy out. Okay. 
fine. Bulk of the Air Force to bomb out Port of Spain. Because I can do that. You're not hiding out there, Canadians. Alma is not your safe haven. Same with you. Bellies. You're not hiding out in Orange Walk, apparently. Didn't even know that was under your control, honestly. I'm impressed. So it's gonna, they're just bombing that out. It's funny. We're going to declare war against Peru. Because I can. Fuck you, Peru. I'm Donald Trump and I'll do what I want. Let's look how smug my face is. That's the face of a million victories, sir. What's well, still there? I don't understand. <laughs> What the fuck is still there? There's two things. Oh, AAs. Yes, finally. Fucking finally. <laughs> fuck you, Trinidad and Tobago. You stupid bastards. <laughs> Alright, now it's just Peru, which will take a little while. I'd love Egypt to actually take Sudan, so we can stop having that shit. Oh, Turkmenistan and Russia. And this time Russia does not have the units, because Pakistan killed them all. To mount a successful defense. And the Germans took the Czechs. And beat back the English. Belgium's nervous. Switzerland's probably even more nervous. Like, dang, world's fucked up, bro. Good, though. I like it when the world's really fucked up like this. Makes it more entertaining. You have no idea who is going to attack who. Whom, I should say. So it makes it way more entertaining. Because you're just like, durr. Who is going to kill you? Who is your friend? Who is not? Let's see, so what happened to the units there? Well, they're there. Let's send them back to the mainland. Slowly getting closer to Lima. We'll take Bolivia right after that. I don't know if we can go after Paraguay or not. Or if we should go after Brazil and just kind of slowly make our way this way into Brazilla. Probably what I'll do is, is do that. I think that's the best way to kind of go about that. And once they're taken, we can take Argentina and Uruguay very easily, then Chile, and that'll be it. Oh, and Paraguay. And these little three fuckwads. And then we'll have North America, with the exception of the Caribbean, which will just slowly take over time. I'm not too concerned about the Caribbean, honestly.
Get wrecked. these three towns here boom so now we're on the outskirts of really of Lima just wait for that supply to catch up that's all that is Let me just take these like three units and just take it. I don't know. Well, it's more than three. There's like twenty. But Can we just really take that? No, Lima. Thought that. Would... And wow, we took it. All right. Okay. So we have Peru. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to end it here though guys, thank you much for watching and I will see you all in the next video, peace.